Um, all right, hallelujah. I um, appreciate those of you who are able and have a serious concern about the condition of the body of Christ as I do. Uh, continue on with me in this message right here. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get on with the rest of it. Um, and and let's, let's prove for our own selves. Not only did Christ appoint power to the apostles, but he also uh, gave this same power to 70 other people who were not apostles, um, but yet they were believers. Uh, the question should be today is, um, why are we so full of fear? Why are we so full of doubt? And why are we so full of unbelief? Now, we equate or define unbelief today, and this is how we do it. And it's all based upon if another person does not believe like we personally do. And, and I'll be the first to tell you that there's no way uh, that people can come together uh, by believing uh, every aspect and every point of the Bible um, on every point, if I, if you understand what I'm saying. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, is that uh, we're not all going to agree on the same points uh, about scriptures, but they are foundational doctrines, foundational teachings that we should never move from and never compromise. Um, and I think that we can all agree upon that because I understand that everybody is at different levels in their growth. Um, let's go to Luke 10, 1 for a second. And after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two by two before his face uh, into every city and place whether he himself would come. Now notice he appointed another 70. And let's go to Luke 10 verse 17 and read through verse 20. And the 70 returned again with joy saying, look what they said. They said, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Now let's ask ourselves the question today. Why come the devils are not subject to us who are filled with the Holy Spirit, we have been baptized in his name, and we have been living holy, and we're fighting sin and the devil every single day. Again, I say there's something wrong um, with the way that we're being taught, um, and, that, and that's really the truth. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven, and behold, I give you unto you, look what, look what Christ said, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Now, today we have, uh, you know, the wrong subjection. Instead of the spirits being subjected to us, it seems like that the people in the body of Christ today are hurting. People are sitting in churches seriously hurting. They don't have answers uh, for today's problems in life. Uh, the marriages, I mean, uh, the marriages are really being hit hard. Um, the enemy is fighting really, really hard. And, and we're grasping the straws to hold on what we got. And we see the attrition rate of the body of Christ uh, of people come in and they die. They come in and they die and they come in and they die. We see it all the time. And then we have a small nucleus of people that continue no matter what. Uh, I believe in fighting the enemy. But in order to fight the enemy, we, we're going to have to come together on common ground and agree on the, the major points. And then we can grow from there as uh, the body of Christ. Um, Many of you, uh, you know, we're just going to have to change the way we believe in a lot of things. Um, because our, 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 what we hold as a biblical viewpoint of the gospel is just not working. Especially if we look out in our assemblies and we're still seeing folks constantly sick and not being healed. If we see them constantly going to this world, to this secular people of this world, um, looking for their relief uh, for their present situation and circumstances. Um, are you sick? Uh, are you managing a disease? And how long have you had these problems? And my question is, why are you inside the body of Christ who claims to preach the gospel and yet we are um, managing diseases and we're still maintaining this sickness and we're not going on to perfection? Let me end this by saying, um, uh, reading the scriptures over in Mark 16 and um, we'll, start to verse, we'll start at verse 14 and listen to what Christ said. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat 
and upbraided them for their unbelief. You hear that? And their uh, look and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Christ got on the disciples because of unbelief and hardness of heart. And I would submit today that, that we really truly need a stern, cold, hard, old-fashioned rebuke. Because we're not together in unity like Christ said that we should. Uh, we're allowing the enemy to just rip apart and tear apart the body of Christ. And everybody wants to be their own little entity by themselves. And uh, we have more division in the church and the world is more united than the people are in the church and he said unto them this is this is the message this is what Christ said and this is the blueprint the marching orders that he gave to the disciples go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature How? what are we supposed to do preach the gospel to who every creature then he says this and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved and he that believeth not shall be damned and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues, so signs follow people that believe. If you're a real true believer in Christ, forget about doctrine and theology and stuff. Let's stick with his words. He said, he said, in his name, we're going to cast out devils if you're a real true believer. And you're going to speak with new tongues. Forget about all the questions that gender to strife, all the questions that are laced with doubt, and forget about all the non-biblical questions that cause doubt and unbelief to rise in your heart. Let's just stick with the book. Um, and they shall take up serpents if they drink any deadly thing. It shall not hurt them. And of course, that means demonic spirits having power over demonic spirits. And we'll define that shortly. Um, and it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And that's what Christ said. And I believe that. And that's I think that this should be the basis uh, in which um, all of our belief should be. Now, remember over in Luke, uh, the 10th chapter, the 17th verse. Uh, we'll start, I mean, Luke 10, verse 19. He said, Behold, I give you power to trade on serpents and scorpions over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So the power is a trade on serpents and scorpions and all power of the enemy. You hear that? And notwithstanding uh, in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but re rejoice rather because, but rather rejoice because your name is written down in heaven. Now, I said all that because I'm very interested um, and very motivated about getting the body of Christ together. And what I'm asking and submitting here today is, is that men of God who are pastors in little small assemblies, um, because our, our assemblies are being overrun by a perverse spirit today. There, There's homosexuals and lesbians. Um, we, we just have a whole bunch of disorder all over the place. And the name of God is blasphemed amongst the heathen by what they see today. And no wonder people uh, have no desire to be holy and want to come to Christ. Because look at the mess that the church in. It's a mockery when you cut on TV and you see all this mess that is going on today. So we, we need to actually come together in unity. And this is what I'm submitting. I'm submitting that if you're very serious about... Um, this unity of the faith um, where we're in the year 2010 and today is November the 8th um, let's let's try to get together over a week and what I mean get together let's correspond and communicate um, get in contact with me and I'll get in contact with other people and 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 those of you who are very serious about number one obeying the gospel number two being holy uh, and number three, going on to perfection and getting this thing really truly working, uh, contact me and we'll set up a time before the end of this year and, um, and we'll sit down at the table, all of the elders and we'll, what we would do is, is, is we would actually get a blueprint a basis, a foundation to where we can start from and then we'll, we can go from there that, that's my suggestion because um, we can do more damage to the kingdom of Satan uh, together than we can apart. And I think that it needs to start with the elders. I think that um, people in churches, um, that we need to get rid of all the fears that is keeping us from coming together. Sure, there are going to be things we disagree upon, but that's the reason why we need to be mature as men to come together in unity and try to get this thing going. Uh, that's what I think we ought to do. So if you if we're very interested in in 
Uh, we're not forming another church. We're not forming another coalition. We're not forming an organization. Uh, the Church of Jesus Christ is already established. He did that by giving us uh, the Holy Spirit and the earnest expectation of that Spirit within our hearts. What we're doing is going to continue on what he has already started because what we have now is just not working. We're too divided and we need to come together in unity. So I, I say and I submit that we in the body of Christ, we need to come together in unity. And I think that you all will let the elders um, in your particular churches view this video and see the sincerity and see if, if you agree. And I think that we need to set up something this year to come together so that next year can be different from this past year. I believe that there are real, true, holy believers out there, no matter how little or, or no matter how great, no matter how small or, or whatever you want to call it. I think that we should get together in this unity, and I think we need to start at the basis of sitting down at the table and of developing a foundation. I hope that you have understanding. Uh, may the Lord Jesus bless you is my prayer. The King is coming.